Welcome back to another episode of the Bournemouth Career Mode. Second episode of the second season. In which last, last episode we brought in a numerous amount of players into the club to help strength the team. We bring in Dean Henderson, Kawar from Arsenal, Fresnada, Matson, Yunus Mutsa, Noto on loan, Lewis on loan, Wahi on loan, Baldinizi on loan as well. Four players on loan. I thought it was three. It's only four. We have Tottenham up next in the lead. They're currently on one point. We're top three, but obviously that will change the more and more we get into it. Let's get straight into the first game. We're actually going to go ahead and start Wahi off of the first half ha or the second half hat trick on his debut last game against Everton. See what we can do at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. It's a great stadium. It's a shame it's ruined by the team that plays there. Son, Buendia now. It's still with Buendia. Now Regulon. That was Son. Hugh Ming Son scores. It's 1 0 for Tottenham. Judge Spence, if they score 2, I'm quitting. It's Harry Kane. It's 2 0. Not quite good enough for the top six teams quite yet. It's a 5-3 loss, though. It actually wasn't too bad. Wahi scoring, and then Baldonese and Nelson all on the score sheet as well. Now, Carabao Cup is something I said last episode that I want to take a little bit more serious and try and make a far and deep run this season. Now, I am going to go ahead and simulate through it with a rotated team for the most part. We have Enkelia back at the starting striker position. We have Sadiq, Madsen, Kawar, and Dean Henderson all on the same team. But so the Prestiani, Tavernier, Shoryakins, Pearson, Sensei, and Fresnada make their first game of the season. Now with three to two minutes left, it's nil-nil. We're getting closer to a penalty shootout here. I'm kind of joining simply just for that. I'd rather play it than them let them play it. But Sadiq into Noto. Now Mateson. In for Enketia. Enketia in for Shoryakins. And then Manana need for a penalty shootout. Shoryakins scores the only goal and might be the winner. Maybe I should have played this game from earlier. We wouldn't have to wait 90 minutes to get a first goal of the game. Referee, blow your whistle. We move on to the next round of the Cowbell Cup. A home game here against Watford. Well, while he's starting, Sensei's also back in the starting 11 for the tiresome Kawar. Rico Lewis has been continuing to improve and impress. Reese Nelson. Man, he's almost non-existent, I can't lie. But talking about that, he's putting a cross in for Wahi. He won't win that. Sadiq. In for Wahi. In for Noto. Noto. Back for Wahi. Shot. Is that blocked? Or is that just a wide shot? It is corner. Sadiq. Noto. Crossed in. Nelson out wide. He puts it back in. It's going to fall to Wahi. Wahi gets another corner. Nelson on the corner. In for Noto. It's going to go out wide. Now for Baldonese on his right foot. Deflected. That's a red card. You stopped the ball like that. That's a red card. Surely the Watford player is gone. He will receive a straight red. Sirota, he's out. Henry, Estrella, Watford's on the attack. Antonio Silva can't cut that out. Dean Henderson gets beat near post by Caicedo. And it's 1-0 for Watford. And 10 men Watford are beating Bournemouth. And it's not Caicedo, it's, it's Kulu. Reese Nelson. Baldonese in for Wahi. Wahi to level it up. It's 1 1. And we go in half time. 1 1. Crossed in. It's a beautiful volley. And Watford has the lead again. 10 men Watford. Honestly, they weren't really controlling the game until they got to that 10 men. Rico Lewis. 
Yunus Musa, Wahi, Reese Nelson, 2-2. Two -two. Yunus Musa, you went ahead of yes. Reese Nelson can't properly clear it. Just blocking all the shots, absorbing everything. Dean Henderson with another fantastic save. Wofford's coming. Wofford's coming. And Wofford came. It's 3-2. Why are we struggling so much against Tim and Wofford? In for Tavernier. Tavernier on the header. It's 3-3. And just like that, we're back in it again. Prestiani, Tavernier, Eddie and Ketia, Eddie and Ketia, Eddie and Ketia is saved. It's creeping in. It's an own goal. And Bournemouth might walk away with the win. It's 4 3 for Bournemouth. And it's an absolute hauler from the defender and the goalkeeper. Keeper makes a save. Defender was looking to clear it, and the keeper said no. Push it in his own net. Yunus Musa over the top for Prestiani or Shoy Aikens actually. Pusueto, Andre Tonio Silva gets caught. Dean Henderson with the save. Literally moments away from securing the win. And I'm trying to choke it apparently. Now clear that. Yes. Referee, blow your whistle. Yes, come on. 4 3 win against Walford. It was a fucking battle and a half, but we finally get over the edge and we win the game. A trip to St. James Park to play Newcastle United. Pablo Gavi playing left wing, Kimpembe left center back, Isak, Almiron, Trippier, Nick Pope. It's going to be a battle. Let's get to it. I didn't get there starting, by the way. I just didn't change Wahi. Now in for Noto, intercepted instantly. Newport County in the next round of the Cowbell Cup. We're going to simulate through it with our strongest team. Reese Nelson makes it 1 0. It's 1 1. It's 2 1. Bardanese puts us back in front. And Noto makes it 3 1. We win 3 1. We move on to the next round of the Cup. And we end the episode off in 11th with five. After five games, two wins, one draw, two losses. Perfect 13 goals scored, 13 goals against. Top of the table right now is Liverpool and Chelsea, who are a perfect five for five. Leicester City are right behind them with West Ham, Man United, Austin Villa, Spurs, and Arsenal all trailing behind. Early relegation teams, Sheffield is 0-5. Watford has one draw. Nottingham Forest has two draws. We actually almost lost Andrew to Wofford who were 10 men down. That's kind of crazy. I will see y'all next episode. Leave a like, subscribe, and peace out.